So this is a summary of what you can achieve using GitHub Actions and Doku to create a PR preview, a live preview environment of your application so that other developers can preview it or your client can review the features as they get added. So at the end of the run, um, you get a, a link to the web address that you've configured. Um, so in this example, we've got a very bare bones example Angular application, which can be visited. That's running on a Doku host, uh, which is a a host for the application which has to be dockerized in order for the application to run. Um, so for an example we're going to create a very simple pull request and the GitHub Actions workflow is going to run and it's going to deploy um, on a new branch the application into the docu host uh, so that the pull request can be previewed. So this is the application running locally, um, just a very simple application. I'm going to do a pull request which just uh, very simply changes the text here. So I'm going to just find that file um, in the in the template. So here we go. And let's add another another paragraph here. For example, there we go. So obviously we're now going to commit that change. Uh, we're going to do it on a new branch. So git checkout and we can call the branch whatever we like. Um, so we're going to say maybe it's related to an issue. Um, change text, home page, example. Okay. And now I'm going to commit that change to the branch. So git commit message added paragraph to the home page. Okay, so now we're going to push that up to the GitHub repo. So it's not a pull request yet, so now we're going to have to create the pull request on, on GitHub. Copy that link. And once we've created the pull request, it's going to trigger a build, and we're going to be able to preview that um, live as a deployment. So creating the pull request. We can ignore these messages about the, the re review required, that's just due to the repo settings. Um, you can use those to bl block PRs if they haven't had enough people reviewing that PR, for example. And as expected, we've got the PR um, deployment running. So let's view that. It does a build of the application from scratch using the Docker file inside the repo. So if we have a look at the Docker file, it's just a very Eventually, simple Docker file which builds and compiles connected. Angular's um, source code and uses the Alpine lim image, which is very small, and then runs that um, as part of its um, entry point. So the build trip process takes a while. Um, it takes about a minute and a half, depending on which Docker image you have and how you've built your Docker image, that might be faster or slower. But at the end of the process, what you get is a URL which can be visited by other developers, yourselves, or colleagues, to preview the feature. It's really good for a, like a QA environment where you want to test features. So here we can see that it's building the image. Okay, so once the deploy is complete, it then generates the, the URL for the application, and the URL is based on the username of the pull request and also the branch name uh, that the, the pull request author uh, pushed. So we can then visit that URL, and sure enough, we can visit the page which has the additional paragraph on, and other developers can deploy other branches with their own username and equally view a new deployment of that application. So it's really useful to share um, a live version of this application.